Hello everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Broken Sword Shadow of the Templars Director's Cut. Joining me, Yorkshire Raven. What up? And unfortunately I can't delay this any longer. We've actually got to start playing with George instead of Nico. So what are we going to find around it? We don't want to leave the scene yet, which is what we can do over there. But in case you forgot between now and two days ago, George here came to Paris and uh, almost got killed in an explosion. I suspect in a different type of game, he, he could, oh no. Please, hold it right there. Oh, don't shoot. I'm innocent. I'm an American. Can't make up your mind, huh? I demand to see the American consul. Drop your weapons and get down on the ground. Put that thing away, Sergeant Mu. I apologize, monsieur, but I cannot permit you to leave. Am I under arrest? Ah, uh, no. I would simply like to ask you some questions. En avant, to the cafe, marche. I like that joke. What a mess. This bombing is an outrage, is it not? Stop that, monsieur! Has it occurred to you that he may be dead, Mo? Oui, monsieur, but I prefer to look on the bright side. Besides, I recall a case where the killer escaped by feigning death. However, in this case, the man is quite dead. Examine the girl and take her statement, if you can. I like the fact that he realizes his partner is a completely hey, incompetent person. Business. Your name, please? George Stobart. I'm from California. And what brings you to Paris, Monsieur Stobart? Travel. I'm touring Europe. You chose well. The city is most beautiful at this time of year, no? Uh, yeah. I guess so. Apart from the bomb blasts. Were you in the vicinity of the cafe at the time of the explosion? Yeah, I was sitting out on the sidewalk. I was lucky I wasn't killed. The inspector passed over my remark with no reaction. Did you see the deceased enter the cafe? Let's see. Did we actually see the guy enter? I think was we he? did. We did. Yes, I did. Was he alone? Uh, yeah. And did he say anything to you? No. He was more interested in the waitress. Did you see anyone else in the cafe? Freaking clown. Yeah, there was a guy dressed as a clown. He was carrying an accordion. An accordion? Bon. The picture is forming in my mind, and it is not a pretty one. Is the girl all right, Moo? She'll leave. She confirms the American statement. A clown with an accordion, no doubt an elaborate and eccentric disguise. Very well. Eh bien, I have heard enough. What do you mean? I am satisfied that you know nothing. You may leave. I hope this little incident does not spoil the rest of your vacation. What about my personal safety? Can't you at least give me some advice? What can I say? Stay alert and look out for suspicious characters. And don't cross the road until the little man shows green. Great advice. I honestly believe you are in no danger, monsieur. Should you remember anything of importance, please contact me. My card. Thanks. That is all. You may go. There's not much to go on, monsieur. On the surface, no. But what lurks inside the subconscious? If the door can only be opened. Are you serious, monsieur? I thought your interest in psychic detection was purely academic. So, that that was a hell of a thing that just happened in there. Yep. 
I examined the jagged glass remaining in the window. It was broken, all right. I exam... Sergeant Moo? Ah, Monsieur Stobart, n'est-ce pas? That's correct. You remember me. The retention of such data is part of my duty as a gendarme. That is our crime is fought through attention to detail, not intuition. Yes, yeah, sure. I was one of the last people to see the victim alive, Sergeant. Does that worry you? Yes, it does. I feel I kind of... I owe it to him to find his killer. That is best left to the authorities, monsieur. Did he speak to you? Tell you anything? No. He just grinned and nodded. Don't let it trouble you, monsieur. Go on and try to forget. What is Rosso doing with that girl? He is giving her the once-over, as you Americans say. Once he gets his teeth into a case, nothing will shake him off. Look, Sergeant, the inspector gave me his card. Yes, monsieur. He wants you to advise him if you have any information concerning this case. Well, I'd be glad to talk with him, but I don't want him working his psycho weirdness on me. Ah, no, monsieur. You are confusing the science of parapsychology with witchcraft. Oh, yeah? What's the difference? We don't do sacrifices. That That's a hell of a difference. Yeah. See you later, Sergeant. Yeah, let's ignore Nico walking around for the moment. I considered straightening the table, but I figured it best not to disturb the evidence. I could... I don't want to leave because we really need to get a look at this paper. Even though I'm pretty sure we don't actually speak French. The leading article referred to the visit of a Nobel Prize winner from some unpronounceable Eastern European state. Ah, maybe George actually does. The leading article referred to the... The column was devoted exclusively to rumor, gossip, and sensationalism. I noticed the writing at the foot of the page. It read, Salah Eddin, 1345. The big story was about the brutal murder of a French media magnate, shot down in cold blood. The guy oozed confidence, like a regular French statesman. So apparently he does. Hmm. Excuse me, mademoiselle? Hi, uh, my name's George Stobart. Oh. An American, by the sound of it. Yep, that's right. On vacation in Paris. <laughs> Some vacation, huh? You were here when the bomb went off? Sure was. Sat right out in front of the cafe. Did you notice a middle-aged man, maybe 60, with a hat and overcoat? I couldn't believe it. She hadn't even asked how I was feeling. Yeah, he went inside just before the bomb exploded. You weren't related to him, were you? Oh, no, nothing like that. I'm Nicole Collard. From La Liberté. Uh, what is that, uh, some kind of nightclub? Oh, no, it's a newspaper. You're a reporter? I'm a freelance photojournalist. Say, you could interview me about the bombing. An eyewitness account. Minutes after the outrage that shook the whole of Paris. You know, real-life drama, human interest, that kind of stuff. I'll just stick to the facts, thank you. Did you see who planted the bomb? I know it sounds crazy, but he was dressed like a clown. A clown? It's him again. And luckily for us, this should only surprise George that she's not too nonplussed by the mention of a clown. Who was the guy you were supposed to meet? His name was Plantard. I didn't know him, but he called me last night. He said he had a story which would interest me. He asked me to meet him at the cafe. I guess I'll never know what he wanted to tell me. Well, not unless you have Rosso's gift for psychic interrogation. Do you know a police officer called Rosso? Rosso? Our paths have a knack of crossing. If I didn't know better, I'd say it was deliberate. Have you seen Rosso? Is he here? He's inside, attempting to question a witness with his psychic powers. That guy is weird. Yeah. He's right there! I'm sure he can hear you! I heard that. How did Plantard get your name? Through the newspaper, La Liberté. I'd written an article linking two unsolved murders, one in Italy, the other in Japan. 
the cases were remarkably similar. A wealthy victim, no apparent motive, and a costume killer. Plantard said he could supply me with more information. Somehow the clown must have known about our appointment. Somebody got their phones tapped. Have you met the clown before? It's a long story. I have plenty of time. I don't. Why won't you tell me about the clown? Why do you want to get involved? Because he almost killed me. Isn't that reason enough? I guess so. Listen, I'll give you my phone number. You help me with my story and I'll let you in on what I know. And let's get one thing straight right now. This is strictly business. Okay, uh, it's a deal. I have to go develop these pictures. I'll be on soon with you. Uh, fine, uh, I'll see you soon. So that we don't actually have her number in inventory, I see. It, it's just the, that we have the policeman. But I think... It actually does let us go this way. The clown had fled into this alley, but there was no sign of him now. I was intrigued by Nico and what she could tell me about the explosion. Well, we will go back here in a minute. We got, we got things to do before we go in there. I'm just wanting to make sure there's nothing to click on over here. Somebody's impatient somewhere. Hey ho, hey ho, he's off for digging me go. Hey, you! I thought you'd been arrested! No, it was a misunderstanding. When he pulled that gun, ka! I thought that was it. Those automatics by quite a punch, you know? He made a mistake. He thought I was a terrorist. You? A terrorist? Ha! He was only doing his duty, I guess. Did you see an old guy with a briefcase? Wait, silly old coot. Do you know what he said to me? Work fascinates me, he says. I could watch it all day. Care did. I could have knocked his block off. I hate people that do that. Did you recognize the old man? No. Should I have done? Was he a celebrity? No, but I guess he is now. His name was Plantar. Was? He's dead then? Yeah. That's too bad. Now I wish I hadn't called him what I did. If only I could turn back the clock. If only I'd been more tolerant. Regret and remorse are strange emotions. They really bring out the hammiest actors in people. Did you see a clown come by this way? A clown? Like, in a circus? Yeah, with makeup and a big red nose. Ho! Oh, those guys are funny, aren't they? Not in my experience. I love the circus, especially the horses. You haven't answered my question. Have you seen a clown? You think I've got time to watch everyone who passes by? Some of us have to work for a living. I mean, that clown's act brought down the house. Yeah? Look, I know you're busy, but surely you'd have noticed a clown. I told you already. I didn't see a thing. He was wearing multicolored baggy trousers and makeup. It'd be a poor sort of clown if he didn't. Listen, I have to find that clown. He's a killer. Say, who are you anyhow? A cop? No, of course not. I mean, do I look like a cop? No, but you act like one, sticking your nose in where it's not wanted. How do you know this guy's a killer? Did you see him in action? Didn't you hear the explosion? The cafe was blown up. I wondered what that bang was. Any bodies? Yeah, an old man was killed. Merd. I didn't think it was that serious. What about the waitress? Oh, she's fine. Thank the saints. Would you like to read my newspaper? I haven't got time to read that. Can't you see I'm busy? You could read it on your lunch break. Ten minutes is all I get. And if my boss had his way, I wouldn't get that. He'd have me on a drip. 
so I didn't have to stop to eat. Oh, take the newspaper and quit complaining. Bah! Look at this! Damn bleeding out liberals! Cha! Save the dolphins! Catch them and eat them, I say! All that fuss over a bunch of fish! Nah, that's more like it! Look at the size of those! Like champagne bottle corks, no? Ah, what's this? Saleh Dean running in the Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe. It's a racehorse? A horse? A legend! Bucephalus reborn, mon ami! Like a streak of lightning she is! Do me a favor, won't you? Keep an eye on my hole. I'm off to put some money on that nag. What about your toolbox? Stuff it! Help yourself! He, he's a pleasant fellow. Five months later, the invasion of dolphins comes 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 along. <laughs> They're targeting specifically him. Yes. The Simpsons predicted it. I found a T-shaped tool in the box. I didn't know what it was, but it looked useful. Okay. Drop those a bit, because for some reason, the music decided to swell up there and drown out the speech. It, yeah. It really got loud. Hello, Nico Kula. Hello? It's George. Oh, hi. Well, I haven't had a lot of luck. You found nothing? Uh, no. Look, I'm very busy right now. Call me if you have any news, okay? Oh, uh, yeah, I, I guess. Adieu, monsieur. See you. So, it may not look like it, but yeah, that's a telephone. Weird place to have a telephone, but, you know, it is what it is. But this... It was a metal rod with a handle at one end and a short cross piece at the other. And maybe you recognize what that is. Maybe not. But that is typically a little tool you will see that people use to lift up manholes. Guess where we're about to go, folks. There is no escaping the sewer levels. There is no escaping a sewer level. Somebody's still honking their horn in the background. So now we need to go this way. Plenty of things to look at in here. I took a deep breath and prepared to climb the drain pipe. I guess the clown had an escape over the rooftops. The drain pipe hung limp and useless. Nothing to say about that window, huh? It smelled like someone had dumped a truckload of fish in a locker room on a hot summer afternoon. I mean, given what that sounds like, that sounds like an empty freaking trash can. It was a battered old trash can. <laughs> Cat did not approve. It was a battered old trash can. Never proved. There was nothing of interest. It was a plastic crate. Because we've yet to hear anything from Blackjack so far this at let's play. Blackjack is in another room. I think he's napping in a sun beam somewhere. Yeah. So Yep, it is about that time to finally get into 
the sewer level. Accidentally brought up the diary there. The diary today was almost blown up. And that is what it says. The cover was too heavy and awkward to lift with my bare hands. It was an iron cover concealing the entrance to a drain or sewer. Sir, you don't have bare hands, you have human hands. You don't know. He, he might have bare hands. I lifted the cover to reveal what smelt but like the entrance to Can he cast spells sewer. decently? I don't think he casts spells with human hands. I don't think he has that much intelligence. The magic will probably come do it. And we have arrived in the sewer. There is no escape. Rule one of gaming, there is always a sewer level somewhere. Yeah. But we will explore this sewer next time because now is a good stopping spot. So until then, take care everyone. This stinks. <laughs>